So we actually were able to attend Cinegear 2021 this past Friday, and we attended as a team, which was Elvira Media. For those of you who might not know what Cinegear is, Cinegear is this annual exposition for filmmakers, and essentially it's the latest technology and other services. And so we actually found out about this through a mutual friend. And so last second we went to go because it was actually free. So I'm gonna just share with you how the day went and talk about my experience at Cinegear. So first up, the Cinegear is actually held in the Los Angeles Convention Center, which is just right across from the Staples Center. So we arrived and I guess everyone was hungry, so we actually went to eat and that's where the first crime happened where we paid almost $25 per person just to eat the tiniest meal. But afterwards, uh, we actually got into the convention center. The room was really big, right? And there was a lot of, unfortunately, dead space because the original 500 or 300 vendors that were supposed to go, many of them dropped out and now it was actually down to, I think, 70 people or vendors rather. We walked around and were actually able to interact with a bunch of the uh, booths that were set up. We actually noticed that there was a lot of lighting providers that had like different lighting setups that you can use, RGB, uh, black, white, and like super high intense and stuff. In fact, one of our favorite ones, Aperture was there, which they had a really nice booth set up. It was like really big and they had all their like different technology set up. And they were actually like even live streaming some sort of event there. It was, it was kind of interesting to see. And then of course there was camera providers and one of the camera people we saw was like, of course, the red cameras. We saw a bunch of filters, people like for the lenses and stuff. We even got to check out this 8K camera that was only like $2,500 and it was just for the body, but it was really compact and it had really good quality. And I was actually like really impressed by it. They had it set up so that it was like viewing telephoto lens wise, like all the way across from the convention. And it was like, astounding how crisp it looked on the camera. It was funny because uh, one of the booths actually set up was like some sort of robotic arm thing. And like they wanted you to get on a motorcycle. So we actually had Mateo get on there and like record him escaping whatever tunnel. I don't, I really don't know. Yeah, it was some John Wick level stuff though. It was pretty funny. And actually they sent some the footage, like the raw footage and it looks really, really nice. Especially with the robotic arm movement. It's insane how smooth of a shot you can get. Towards the back of the convention center, there was this little hidden corner where we found this guy who I guess does motion tracking or like motion graphics, but live within the, within the set. So essentially you would motion track where you want certain graphics to appear. And then live in the camera feed, it will generate that and show you how it would look. And you can move the camera around and it would still stay in its appropriate location relative to the camera. There were some other vendors that I didn't really understand, like it was software stuff. Some were related to, I guess, warehousing and rental companies. And then there was this one that was just completely baffling to me. It was, a, I guess they are some sort of remote production uh, application, but that was probably the interesting part of Cinegear. A lot of the services there and stuff, like I didn't think were necessary, but apparently within this industry, there's a lot of niche little markets you can target and there are services that need to be. So that's why there were so many vendors providing so many different things. One of the cooler booths we did end up seeing was this robotic arm like specialist thing. And their whole uh, tagline was, you don't need to be a coder to you know code a, a robot or something. But I was just watching people and watching the feed of the cameras and their movements. And it's really beautiful, the sort of shots you can capture, the consistency and how smooth and accurate the motions can be. So you can really get cinematic and creative with the way you shoot, especially when it comes to like repeating shots, those movies where one actor portrays like five characters. So you just need like the frame to be the same for each shot and then have them, you know, be in each role. Of course, there were other services that we saw. One was some sort of delivery service. So like if you needed to move a bunch of production equipment, they would do that. There was a nice little box carrier. I don't even know what to call it. It's in like equipment box, but they cut out the gear you want for it in the foam and then you can just put it in. So it's like a customizable gear box. And by this point we had pretty much seen most of the booths, but we made one last stop to this booth called Savage. And we talked to one of the sales rep, uh, Rusty. And this guy was hilarious because 
our team member Alex actually asked him, what makes your C stand different from a competitor's? And so he started to hammer in his points of like all the great features that his C stand has that many others don't. And he gave us a full demo. We were probably there like 10, maybe 15 minutes talking with this guy and he was showing us, not just telling us. And of course they also had a little giveaway, which we signed up for. And actually this morning we got an email from them, which was hilarious. And we were actually part of the marketing email. They took a picture of us like dealing with the sales rep doing the demo. And I was like, thanks for visiting Cinegear. So once we finished with the actual convention room, they had a room in the back actually for presentations. They had a few that were interesting. So we only had time for one and it was this live visual productions. And it was like, I guess, sponsored by Blackmagic. And they also really were pushing this whole Unreal Engine which seemed to be like one of the most leading forces at the convention. Like it was in so many different products and services. And it seems like Unreal Engine's really trying to push its video production side besides its game and visual effects side stuff too. And then after that, it was pretty much time. I mean, we had been there maybe three or four hours at that point. And so we just called it quits. It was a good day. Um, Cinegear was rather small that year. So I'm, I imagine that if we go again next year, when things are a little more normal, we'll have a lot more stories and experiences to share. Uh, I'm sad that Sony wasn't there or like Canon uh, or, or even Rode or like any of these other like major companies. But I would say it was a fun day and um, definitely would like to experience more of that. So definitely check it out if you're a filmmaker. If you have a company, it's a lot easier to apply through there. It seems like it's free otherwise you're gonna to have to pay if you're not with a company. And it might be a good networking place too. We did notice we handed out a few business cards. We received some business cards. I hope you guys enjoyed this little story about my experience here at Cinegear. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe for more of the action, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.